Greetings, my curious corpses. It is I, your best buddy. I mean buddy. Creepo. I have a spooky story for you tonight. It's a story about a young and curious guy from Brazil named Pedro. Uh, but first, let me tell you a bit about Redwood National Park. There is an urban legend going around these woods. A long time ago, one of the park's rangers named Mason went out for his daily route and never came back. The rumor has it that Mason fell off a cliff. The body was never found because Mason is still alive. <laughs> he suffered head trauma which turned him into a psychotic killer. And that's why every Friday the 13th, the park is closed. Because this is the day the crazy Mason comes out to play. Well, at least that's what he said. And now Pedro decided to discover for himself if it's true or not. So he's here, all alone, on Friday the 13th. What's that I hear? A chainsaw? <laughs> Looks like Pedro is in for a fun evening here at Redwood National Park. <laughs> Crazy Mason just chopped down this tree blocking the exit. I'm doomed. Doomed. There's a key in here. It's an enchanted Native American rug. I have to take it with me. It will bring me good luck. I can feel it. There's nothing in here. I'm sure I'll find a good use for this grappling hook. I removed the gum. Greetings, friend. I am Goran. My ancestors who used to live here taught me how to summon the lightning storm. Now I will show you my power. If you want to see more, please enter two dollar coins now. That was impressive, but I'm pretty sure it was a coincidence. That tree branch must have fallen after the tree got hit by lightning. Luckily, for some mysterious reason, there's a knife on that branch. You've got yourself a screwdriver, Pedro. But you'll need more than that to defeat Crazy Mason. <laughs> it's too dark to see, but I think there's a secret hideout deep down there. That's a nice trap, Pedro. Now run for the hills before Mason gets here. Too late. Someone's coming. Say your prayers. <coughs> Looks like Pedro got lucky. 
lucky this time, but I'm afraid it's only temporary. Because soon, he's about to meet Mason's mother. <laughs> See you next time.